Hi all, welcome to this video. In this video, we will see what VLAN is. VLAN stands for Virtual LAN. Imagine this as our example office. This office already has a LAN setup. But why might they want to introduce something called a virtual LAN? Let's go inside and find out. There are multiple computers connected to this office LAN setup. Before going further with VLAN, let's quickly refresh our understanding of what a LAN actually is. A LAN or local area network is a network of interconnected computers and devices that are close to each other. Typically within the same building or a small area like home, office or a campus. LANs allow these devices to share resources such as files, printers and internet connection and communicate with each other. Coming back to our example office setup, there are four different departments working together. Computers 1 and 2 are used by HR. Computers 3 and 4 are for finance. Computers 5 and 6 are for sales. And computers 7 and 8 are for marketing. They are all connected to a single network switch. We need to understand why this office is thinking about changing from a regular LAN to a VLAN. To do that, we should look at the problems or disadvantages that a regular LAN can have. Firstly, suppose finance department handles sensitive financial data, which should be kept separate from other departments. With the current setup, there is a risk that unauthorized access may occur. Additionally, when a single computer sends a broadcast packet in the LAN, it is received by every other devices in the LAN. This can potentially result in network congestion and raise security concerns. As the number of devices in the LAN increases, the risk of congestion also grows. Furthermore, in this setup, system administrators may encounter challenges like network congestion, security limitation, resource allocation issues, and overall network management difficulties. In our example office setup, although we only have 8 computers, but in a real LAN, there are typically many more systems. This can lead to increased concerns such as network congestion and security challenges. One way to address these issues is to implement separate physical LANs, creating distinct LANs for different departments or functions within the organization. But this can be expensive and complicated. It means setting up extra devices and cables, which can be messy and hard to manage. It also makes it difficult to change or expand the network. Each LAN might need its own internet connection, which is costly. But there is an easier and better option, which is VLAN. In our example of this setup, creating separate LANs for each department can be done without the need for additional cabling or relocating devices. We only have to replace our traditional network switch with a VLAN supported switch and configuring it accordingly, offering an efficient solution to manage departmental networks. By implementing VLANs, each department behaves as if it were connected to a separate LAN. This means that a computer from one department cannot see or interfere with the network traffic from other departments, ensuring network isolation and enhanced security. To set up VLANs according to our specific needs, we need to configure the network switch. This requires creating VLANs and assigning each VLAN a name and a VLAN ID. For instance, we could create VLANs for the departments such as HR, Finance, Sales and Marketing, giving them unique VLAN IDs. After creating these VLANs, the final step is to configure the switch ports to associate with their respective VLANs. Ensuring that devices in HR, Finance, Sales and Marketing are placed in their designated network segments. For example, you can assign switch ports 193 to the HR VLAN, switch ports 5 and 7 to the finance VLAN, switch ports 2 and 4 to the sales VLAN, and switch ports 6 and 8 to the marketing VLAN. This approach simplifies network management, enhances security, and optimizes network performance. Besides the points covered in this video, there can be other reasons why organization might want to switch to VLANs. These include managing guest networks more easily, following strict rules for compliance and supporting their growth into new locations. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.